Imam noticed her son grew unusually fast. But the reason for his extreme height is heartbreaking. It is often remarked that children appear to grow up in the blink of an eye. Just ask any experienced parent. It seems like one day, their offspring is a helpless newborn who fits in the crook of an elbow on the way home from hospital. And the next day, they are all grown up and leaving home to start lives on their own. Spare a thought then for Michigan mom Darcy Brown. Indeed, Darcy, who lives in the city of Jackson, M.I., has experienced this phenomenon more drastically than most. In fact, her son, Brock, was always ahead of the curve. As an infant, her boy grew incredibly fast, and was towering over his kindergarten classmates at a very early age. An alarmed Darcy asked doctors what was happening to her more than five-foot, five-year-old son. The medical professionals ran tests and then broke some horrible news. The Brown family had a massive problem on their hands, and one which could have tragic consequences. Before that dramatic diagnosis, however, young Brock seemed just like his peers in kindergarten. He appeared normal in every respect but one. While the average five-year-old boy measures approximately 43 inches, just shy of four feet tall, Brock totaled five feet, two inches. To put this in perspective, the average height of an adult American is 5 foot, 9 for men and 5 foot, 4 for women. With this in mind, Darcy knew something wasn't right so she consulted a physician. Their diagnosis was that Brock had Soto syndrome, which is also known as, cerebral gigantism. The hereditary condition, which affects about 1 in every 15,000 people, facilitates rapid, taller than average growth in newborns until the teenage years. By adulthood, however, most sufferers have settled into a normal height for an adult and there is nothing more to worry about. Nevertheless, there was a long list of further causes for concern for the Browns. Along with the diagnosis, they were informed that Soto syndrome came with a wide range of other problems. Many who succumb to the genetic disorder also go through developmental delays, including learning disabilities and the slow adoption of social skills. Others experience attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, and autism. Also common to Soto sufferers are coordination problems and low muscle tone. To top off this list of woes, for a few there was also something much more serious to worry about. Unfortunately, it was thought that Brock was in this number. His mom was told that the prognosis for her kindergartner was grim. Doctors told Darcy that it was unlikely that her son would live to see adulthood. There's nothing that can stop him from growing. The despairing mom told UK tabloid The Sun in September 2016 when Brock was 19. I don't know if he will ever stop. After hitting 5 feet, 2 inches tall in elementary, Brock became a 6-footer just in time for middle school at the age of 11. By the time he made it to high school, the then 14-year-old had sprouted to a staggering 7 feet in height. His mother noted, he could easily grow 6 inches a year. And, like others with Soto's syndrome, Brock and his family had experienced many of the long list of attendant maladies. He has a DHD and intermediate explosive disorder, Darcy stated. She explained the latter behavioral complication further, adding, when he gets mad, he's mad. Brock's mom continued, it wouldn't take him two seconds to pop a hole in the wall, it could be very dangerous if he wasn't on medication and able to be calmed. However, Darcy did maintain that instances of this type of behavior were rare for her boy. She insisted to the tabloid, overall he is a big softy, his heart is as big as his body. His disorder also took a physical toll. Brock described his chronic growing pains to the sun, saying, it kind of feels like a big tennis racket has gone through my back. But, unfortunately, because the boy was born with only one kidney, his doctors have prevented him from using traditional painkilling medication to fight his constant aches. Nevertheless, the ever-budding Brock tried his best to reduce some of the day-to-day -day pain he was experiencing. He explained, I do stuff to stop it hurting and it makes me feel like there's a needle gone through it, it's hard to deal with. I just wish the doctors could do something to help my pain. In search of some relief her stoic son was suffering, Darcy organized a 1,000-mile journey from Jackson to Little Rock's Arkansas Children's Center. The boy had a consultation there with Dr. Bradley Schaefer, an expert in Soto syndrome. Subsequently, the specialist was able to give the Browns some good news, and some bad news. Unfortunately, Dr. Schaefer was unable to provide Brock with any sort of remedy for the constant spinal ache the boy was enduring. However, 
The expert was confident enough in the then late teenager's health to overturn the previous prognosis that Brock would die before he became an adult. Brock is easily the tallest man I have ever seen, Dr. Schaefer told The Sun in September, 2016. Unfortunately, he will always have to deal with some form of pain, but I believe that he will now have a regular lifespan. As the jubilant teenager readily agreed, it was the best thing I could have heard. By the time he was 19 years old, Brock measured 7 feet, 8 inches. The youngster was closing in fast on the height of 30-something Turkish farmer Sultan Kosin who is currently the world's tallest man at 8 feet, 2 inches. The tallest individual ever is acknowledged to be the American Robert Pershing Wadlow who died aged 22 in 1940, measuring 8 feet, 11 inches. While the wider world awaited further growth from Brock to see if he could overtake Kosin and Wadlow, his local community rallied around. But this was not just to cheer the young man onto greater heights and a potential world record. The people of Michigan wanted to be of practical help. Many of the fundraisers had witnessed for themselves the difficulties and expense of clothing and housing one of the tallest people on earth. Bearing in mind his outsized frame, Brock was forced to wear apparel which had been designed especially for him. Brock wore bespoke items from head to toe, and this meant a high cost of living. For instance, his socks alone cost almost $20 per pair to cover his size 28 feet. On top of that, Brock required a custom-made, 8-footer bed, and an individually crafted chair with a price tag of more than $1,000. His mom spoke with gratitude to the son about the charity the Browns had received. Darcy said, We have had a couple of benefits for Brock where the community got together and helped us out. He made around $10,400. It didn't last long, we had a lot of outfits, but within a year he was out of them and it was time to do it again. Although Brock's giant height can cause a massive financial strain, the Browns are determined he should not have to pay for his condition in other ways. Both mom and son continued in their determination that Brock would lead a normal life. The teenager dreamed of having his own job, telling the son, I hopefully want to work for a sporting goods store. With the danger of death lifted, and his health in the clear, Brock was looking forward to a long and hopefully contented future. In light of his tough childhood, Darcy promised that she would never force Brock into a career that didn't suit him. All the mom wanted for her child was joy and fulfillment. She summed up, I just hope he has a good life and is happy with everything he ever does.